Hi there, Lisa, your favorite Georgia realtor, coming out today to talk about open houses. <laughs> so this is all about open houses today. And I want to do it because it really is open house season. This in April, we are in April right now. I don't know when it is that you're watching this. I know YouTube videos do tend to stay up pretty long and you never know when you're going to come across one. But April, springtime, summer, wonderful time for open houses. People are excited to get out. There are a lot of buying of homes and selling of homes going on in the spring for just like other reasons that I have said in other videos. People are moving, children go off to college, we're ready to downsize, maybe ready to get a larger home, you may be relocating in the summer. That's why people are, you know, the market just does seem to burst a little bit. And the market is still great. It's still a great time. It's a great time to buy. So houses are selling the same now as they did last year. So you hear this buzz, oh, the market's bad or it's going to crash or we're waiting for this. Don't. I'm telling you, it's the same. We are selling just as many houses now as we did before. So people are still buying and selling homes. But the open house part, it's so good for you to have an open house. So if you're not working with an agent that wants to market your house and put it out there, nine times out of 10, you'll hear me tell you the buyer is probably not going to walk into your open house. But there are opportunities that they do. And I just had one. So I hosted an open house this past weekend, literally the first people through the door, they said, we want this house. They got me along the side. They said, we really want this house. This is the house we want. You know, we want to put an offer and we're going to put one offer and right. We're going to put it in as soon as we get, we're going to go call our agent. Oh, they were so excited about it. Right. And, um, and they did like within 20 minutes, my person who was selling the house had called me up and said, Oh my God, we just got an offer. It was the first day on the market. It was the first open house and they wanted the house and literally ended up getting it because because of that relationship they built with me, I was able to talk to the, to the homeowner and I said, listen, if you get any other, you know, I wasn't the listing agent. So I said, if you get any other offers on this, be sure to let them know and they may match it. So give them that opportunity, FYI. And they did. And guess what? They matched it. So they're actually going to get the house. And that's just a wonderful story. That's just one of the great times when you can have an open house and somebody can like come in and love the house and want the house. Most of the time, they're just looking. They're just out looking. They're, they're gallivanting around the open houses. Their agents are like, hey, go look if you see any. Go check them out if they're, you know, in your parameters. And that's what they do. So with that being said, the whole point in the open house is to market yourself. Market, market the house market what, what you have to offer, talk to your neighbors, you know, let them know. So the realtors do get a lot from it because we do usually get a lot more business, but it also helps us find buyers for even other houses that are out there. And that's what's most important. It opens up those conversations. People walk into the house, you find out what they're looking for. You might know a house down the street that's for sale. You can send them down to that house, which is the same thing that happens when your house is held open as well. Somebody may do the same thing. So I love open houses. I think it's a great way to market your home. Now, if you don't want to open house, you don't want to, you don't want to market your house like that at all. You don't want people walking through it. There are ways to sell your house without doing that as well. As a matter of fact, I can help you buy your house first before you sell your house. So there are actually programs out just for that, but that's a whole nother video at another time. Also, if you're selling your house, you're thinking of an open house, you're thinking of putting it on the market. I know I've said it before, but there are programs around that will help you spruce it up. Maybe put some fresh paint on. Maybe you get the new floors in. Maybe you just want some new counters. Maybe you'll just update some of your light fixtures and that would make it more appealing. But there are programs out there so that you don't have to take all that money out of your pocket and it could get paid at escrow, which makes it even funner. That's so nice. Anyhow, don't want to make this real long. I do try to keep them under 10 minutes just to just to give you a little bit of information. But thank you so much for viewing my videos. I love that you're following me and getting some of this real estate advice. Again, if there's anything that you need or have questions, want to hear about something special, you know, comment and let me know. I would be happy to do a video on it for you. Have a great day.